Hi, welcome back to my channel. Let's take a look at the Professional Cloud Architect Sample Case Study Dress for Win today. In this case study, besides proposing the solution architecture, I want to show you the important thing when you move from on-prem into public cloud, how to make your migration plan, and how to move towards a DevOps model with CI-CD pipeline. So this is what achieve Dress for Win's goal to fully transition from on-prem to public cloud and reduce the cost, free them from infrastructure management so they can only focus on developing the features. You can check my previous video on the Monkirk Games case study. That video was focused on how to propose and draw a solution architecture diagram. In this video, I will focus on leveraging the existing Google Cloud Reference architecture and replace the on-prem service with Google Cloud service when you are migrated from on-prem into Google Cloud. Are you ready? Pause the video if you need more time to read the case study. Dress for Vin wanted to do POC proof of concept in its dev, test, and DR environments in Google Cloud before fully migration to the public cloud. Now let's take a look at the existing technical environment and how to replace them with Google fully managed services. Keeping in mind that proposed architecture needs to have a high availability and DR capability. The first one is the databases. They are using the MySQL in one server for user data, inventory, and static data uh, with a 10 terabytes size limit. So you can use in Cloud SQL to replace MySQL in single region and create a replica server for migration. The company also cultivates the active, active social network. So I will use the Redis to hold its social graph, metadata, and caching. Google provides a cloud memory store. A memory store for the Redis instance a replicated across two zones and provide a 99.9% .9 availability SLA. Dress for Win has web and mobile applications, so I will use in the Cloud File Store for the mobile backend. Since the Cloud File Store offers offline support for mobile and web, so you can build responsible applications that work regardless of network latency and internet connectivity. The second part is Compute. They have 40 web application services that provide microservices based APIs and static content. You can pick up from GCE, GAE, and GKE as I mentioned in the Google Cloud Compute Decision Tree video. GCE, GAE, and GKE all can scan up and down. Now let's go to the Google Cloud Solution Architecture Reference website. I wanted to show you the reference architectures that you can leverage for this case. Go to AppDev, then there are microservices with GKE and microservices with the App Engine that you can borrow to use. Let's take a look at microservices with GKE first. If Dress for Win can refactor its architecture and codes for containerization, then they can deploy the microservices API into the GKE to let GKE handle the scaling and the repairing in the daily operation. GKE also can integrate with the other GCP services, for example, relational and non-relational storage, caching that I just mentioned in the database replacement, Messaging and others uh, you will see in the other computer technical stack, uh, stacks replacement letter. This architecture also set up the connection to existing on-prem with the uh, cloud interconnector or the VPN. Since Dress for Win will not finish its public cloud migration in one phase, so you do need the cloud interconnector or VPN for, for connectivities to the current environment with the firewall rules set up. Now let's take a look at the microservices with App Engine. You can see the App Engine also provides built-in load balances, automatic scaling, fully, uh, fully integrated logging, etc. Uh, it is also integrates with the other GCP services for the existing technical stacks replacement. However, I prefer the uh, GKE. 
because I will show you the DevOps model with GKE and Jenkins later. You can get Nginx from Google Cloud Marketplace. Uh, it supports both the GKE and the App Engine. So I will put a dress for when refactoring the architecture and codes for GKE in the migration plan. The next computer stacks are Apache Hadoop and Spark services. Google manages the service for Hadoop and Spark is a Google Cloud Data Probe. Pay attention to best practice of a data program migration, such as separate storage and compute, simplified workloads, simplified storage capacity if applicable. So we will use the cloud storage instead of HDFS to reduce the disk requirements and save the costs. Use the big table to replace HBase, use big query to replace Hive, or use it for the data analysis and real-time trading calculation. The executive statement mentioned the dress for wind subtraffic patterns. They are highest in the mornings and the weekend evenings. 80% of our capacity is setting idle during the other times. So you can configure data probe clusters to scan up and down based on the utilization demand. Now SLA critical workloads can be run on the preempt for VMs. You can use the Cloud Composer to schedule the Spark jobs. Check my last uh, military cheat sheet of data program videos for more details. The next one is RabbitMQ for messaging. I will use the PubSub to replace the RabbitMQ for messaging. I will use the Cloud function to trigger social notification and events. If there is any batch processing, you can use Cloud Dataflow. I mentioned the PubSub, a cloud storage, a cloud data flow, and a BigQuery architecture for real-time and batch processing in the previous Mount Cook Games user case. You can check that video for the details. After we replace the above existing technical stacks, I don't think you need any extra GCE VMs for monitoring. Google Cloud Monitoring and Logging will handle it. Each Google Cloud Services Provides IAM and security control, so I don't think you need any extra security scanning application. However, if you do have, put them in the GKE. I wanted now I wanted to show you the Jenkins on GKE architecture that you can leverage for moving towards the DevOps. Go to DevOps and open Jenkins on Kubernetes engine. This architecture isolates the dev and the production environment. Dress for Win can leverage and extend this architecture by creating one project per environment with IAM set up for their staffs to have a different access permission. You can check the details of this solution in Google's article. For storage replacement, you can check the details on GCE storage options comparison and how to replace on-prem storage in GCE storage option video. You can use the local SSD for VM hosts for better performance, SSD persistent disks for SAN. You can use a file store, GCS, or persistent disk to replace NAS. The cheapest solution is cloud storage. Uh, you should set up a multi-regional buckets to support disaster recovery. Last one, if you need more control over the keys used to encrypt the data in the Google Cloud project, you can use the custom manager encryption keys, the CMEK, within the Cloud KMS for this requirement. Overall, Dress for Win needs to make a multi-phase delivery migration plan with at least three phases. Phase one will build dev and test environments. The least critical components will go first, such as microservices, APIs, static web application, Cloud SQL, and Cloud Storage. Code refactoring on microservices, APIs, web application, mobile application for GKE deployment. Leverage Jenkins on GKE for continued deployment. Phase two will focus on migrating messaging, real-time and batch processing, data warehouse, now SLA critical workloads. Phase three will focus on critical workloads, production and DI environments build up practice the performance optimization and fill over test before go live. Thanks for watching and as always subscribe to my channel for more great cloud computing learning tips.
see you next time.